Now I've swapped out plenty of elements that were initially made of metal for 3D printed elements. The internal mechanisms, or many of them, are a good example of that. But the hinge at the back of the head, this is the original one here, is a little more svelte, as you can see on the, uh, on the original, this is the original one, uh, than the one that I have on the new Dabchik. Let's take a little look, see how big that is comparative to, to this. It's at least, uh, I would say, in terms of general space that it occupies, it's probably about double the amount. Um, so perhaps, perhaps I reuse this one. I know how to make them. And plus, these, uh, this element here is breaking. Ready? Yeah. So maybe I can fix that into the 3D printed piece that comes out the back of his head and have a slightly more streamlined design. But before we get into that process, I wanted to go into some of the design features that went into the original 3D printed piece. It's essentially a universal joint. Can you see it bends in most directions? But what it does do, and this is crucial, it limits the amount of twist in this iteration. I have lied to you unintentionally. At the very beginning of this video series, I made the claim that if I was to recreate any of Dabchik's metal elements out of 3D printed elements, then I would have to make them larger and account for the strength that is lacking as a result of it no longer being made out of metal. There is another way, and that is by using flexible 3D printer resin. That's what I've done in this part here, and as a result, all of these twists and strains that would perhaps cause the piece to break are absorbed by the piece and it stays intact. This resin is like the cuff from last week's episode, uh, Onyx Impact Plus, and it's really, really very good. I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out for yourselves. So here's an example of that flex there in a practical application. So I can put this inside Dabchik's head and because of the flex between these two sides, I can push, ready, and we get this satisfying clicking sound and it's very secure at that point. Until the point that I squeeze these back together again and pull, and it comes out very, very easily. Now it is a universal joint and as such, you have a hinge going one way vertical and one going horizontal, depending on the iteration. But there's a way that I've implemented uh, the pins. Now the pins would be substituting screws for the metal version that I think is pretty smart and it works quite well. So I'll pull this piece over to the side to give you a good look. Can you see the hole in the top there? It's not simply a hole, it's also a slot. So the pin going through, which is actually a metal element, is bent at a 90 degree angle inside there. So imagine it traveling through these barrels here and then bending off to the left. Now that bend pops into an almost secondary hole there, and that holds it very, very secure. So you don't have to worry about the pin falling out and the piece coming apart. Uh, same goes for this joint here. What's interesting is that this pinning system also works as a result of the material's flex. If this was a more rigid resin, pushing these pins in would just cause the piece to break because it wouldn't have the, uh, the flex required to accommodate uh, this setup. So whilst I am returning to the original metal hinge for the back of the head mechanism, I did implement this in the wing mechanism. I can show you that now. So you can probably see, I've not pushed them in place yet, but those are the L-shaped pins uh, in situ there and there. So you're getting a sense of the job that they will do. Flap, 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 flap. There is one more element that makes this piece work so well. I'm gonna save that for a Patreon video. For now though, let's return to the final process. So here we are, finally. It's not my first rebuild, but it always makes me feel somewhat melancholy. Did I live the life of my past iterations or do I merely hold their memories? Back me up, boys. Well, I have tried to quell my doubts and stay positive throughout. But I see him come together as my prospects come apart. And with each addition made, I slide further from the fray. I have kept my head, but tell me whether I'm to keep my heart. Oh, he's not done yet. One more verse. Like a phoenix, he'll rise as I meet my sure demise. And your passions held for me sail off into the sea. Off to find another host While I vanish like a ghost Tell me viewers, did you love Or did you fill a space with me? 
Yeah, deep stuff. Oh, he's done. Okay, so this is far better, actually. It's a lot more snappy. I think, although the flexible material was great in many respects, it did absorb some of that motion. So this is a lot more responsive. Very good. <laughs> okay, okay, very good. I need to talk to him. Him. I mean me. Hello, me. Nice to meet me. Oh, nice to meet me too. Great. So I was thinking, surely you aim to take over the series now, but I was wondering if there might be any possibility please, please, of... Please, please, Dabstick, say no more. I've found your segments incredibly entertaining. Genius, in fact. And why wouldn't they be? You're me. I mean, I'm me. Well, we're me. <laughs> anyway, let's pop into that room and discuss some concepts. What do you think? I think that sounds incredible. <clears throat> okay, I was thinking I could do the ad segments. Take that off your plate. Maybe for a commission of 40% or something. What do, you, what do you reckon? Sounds good. Take a look in that drawer just there. This drawer? I don't see anything. Just a bunch of tarp and, and, and a sponge. <laughs> oh, d Oh, no. I, I tried to stop him, but I think the poor chap had his mind made up. Truly a tragedy for the ages. Oh, and say thanks to the patrons!